All right, everybody, so now we're gonna be talking about Max Point Blank and how to use it, where is it, things like that. So with Max Point Blank, first thing you're going to want to do to find it, at least, is come into Gun, all right? Then you're gonna scroll down to Zero Range, all right? You're gonna hit the center button on Zero Range, and then just below that now on this new page, you will see Max Point Blank, all right? So you come in, hit the center button on that. All right, now, in this page, this is where we can start to talk about what is Max Point Blank, because I do get this question sometimes, what is Max Point Blank and how do I utilize it? So Max Point Blank is a non-precision tool. All right, essentially, if you give a target size parameter of X, all right, so that's gonna be the first input in this page is target size, all right? So you tell it how tall is your target, whatever, whatever you want, all right? Now, if I walk up and put the muzzle on that plate and pull the trigger, and holding center of it, all right? Put it in the center of the plate, pull the trigger, and then just start walking back. At what point am I going to miss this target? How far can I walk back holding that same hold? I can dial something on my scope, I can hold on it, whatever I want to do, but how far can I walk back until I start missing that target, all right? So that's max point blank. Now, um, again, the distance that this will work out to depends on a lot of different things, but in large part, the target size you plug into the uh, first input, all right? The next thing that it says is max point blank hold, or MPB hold, all right? Now, what that is, is effectively what you need to either dial onto your scope or hold in the reticle to achieve this capability, all right? Now, this is going to be maximized for this target. So, when you start walking back, you're gonna start impacting a little bit higher at one point and then it's gonna come up and you're going to uh, hit the top edge of the plate and then it's gonna start working back down until you miss off the bottom. All right, now with that, um, just be sure you know you plug in a good size and stuff like that and you're comfortable hitting over the entire. Again, this is more rapid engagement type stuff. This is non-precision. So that hold, that max point blank hold is what you dial on or zero to achieve this capability, maximize for the target size you've plugged in. All right, the next thing you see is max PBR. That's max point blank range. That is the furthest distance that you can use this out to. All right, whatever range that says, that's how far you can take this system out. All right, the next thing you'll see is no-go, I believe. Let me confirm that real quick, my blue Kestrel. All right, the next thing you'll see is no-go. All right, that no-go, what that is, that's something we came up with, um, my dad came up with it years ago. Effectively, when you're running max point blank, you're not, you probably don't know the range of your target. If you knew the range of your target, you'd probably just plug it into your Kestrel anyways and get a proper hold for it. So a lot of the times, max point blank is used when you don't necessarily know the range of your target and you've got to get a shot off pretty quick. All right, so this no-go, if you don't have the range, what you can come in and do is measure the target in your reticle and mill it, all right? So measure how tall it is in mills and the no-go tells you how tall the target is in mills in your scope when it's at that max point blank range capability. So that furthest distance that I can use this max point blank capability out to, that's the gonna be the size of my target in mills in no go, all right. So if he's bigger than that no go, all right, then he's closer, and you can use max point blank, or the target's closer, and you can use max point blank, all right. If it's smaller, if the target's smaller than um, the no go, he's further, the target's further away, and um, you can't use max point blank anymore, all right. So that's what the no go does. It's a go no go gauge, all right, that we can come in and use. Uh, to determine whether or not that target is inside of capability of max point blank or we need to adapt and change our tool. All right, the next thing that you're gonna see is uh, far zero range or far ZR. Effectively, what that is, is that's gonna be when you're holding or dialed on or whatever you're doing with that max point blank hold, that range right there, that far zero range is the distance where you're gonna be impacting perfect center on that target. All right, so effectively, it's your new zero range. All right, if you were to dial that onto your scope, that would be your new zero range. All right, now, I don't recommend people coming in and plugging in that zero range into the Kestrel because it gets into a lot that we can go on for another half hour on, uh, but you can and you can't, all right? If you come in and you plug it in, be aware that now you have to maintain that capability, that, that dialed zero back in, all right? If you, I like to run my, my gun at 100 meters zero and think off of that all the time. Um, but if you do plug this number in, you can plug far zero range into your new zero range. And then now if a target pop 
if you have another target you want to shoot at a little bit further out, um, then you can come into your kestrel and just look at your hold and without changing anything on the, on your turret or anything like that, you can come in and just hold that in your reticle and you're all good, right? Without having to take it back to zero, whatever you've dialed on, if you've dialed on. Again, I don't typically like to dial, um, but there is some benefit to dialing because if you do come in and dial your max point blank hold, there's some ways to mix max point blank capability with uh, another tool we're gonna talk about a little bit later called speed drop. So I can come in and actually maximize some UK DKD type functionality out of both and mix a precision tool which is speed drop with a non-precision tool and get a little bit of mixed capability and, and that's something we'll have to talk about a little bit later but so far that's max point blank that's how you use it and that's how you find it